Hey guys, it's Duke. So today I'd like to talk about um, Nintendo's E3 conference and I'm going to give you my reaction to it. It's only 25 minutes, but they said it's going to be like the Nintendo Direct in early May, so I'll be pretty happy. I think it was early May, Wh whatever. Either way, I'll be pretty happy if it's laser fast paced like how that was. Um, I'll give you quick thoughts on Microsoft's conference. Loads of games, loved it, loved Xbox One X. Um, could have done with a few big IPs, love the Xbox, the, sorry, the Xbox, OG Xbox backwards compatibility, um, in comparison to Sony's, yes, I actually did watch Sony's, because as many of you know, I kind of hate Sony, but this conference was actually pretty decent, as usual with Sony, um, they they have a lot of style with theirs, unlike Microsoft, a lot of style to it, they had like a, um, I'm guessing it was Indian, um, I should really know this, but <laughs> um, I was like half asleep. I was watching because it was like two in the morning. But um, I did rewatch some of it, by the way. Um, let me check how I'm doing for time. Okay, so it was, it, and I think that was pretty cool. The beginning of it, the beginning was really good for Sony. I thought if they kept that up, it they would have beaten Microsoft. But at the moment, I do think it's a tie. Um, as well, like in Days Gone, when they were showing Days Gone gameplay, it was like they had like little people. I think I'm not too sure because I was, I was watching this. I haven't actually went back and watched Days Gone part of it, but I saw. I think I saw people on the stage hanging upside down doing like zombie movements, which was like that's pretty cool. Um, their their presentation in E3 has always been really really good as as a show that is like in, in as a live conference, but. Um, my problem was, like, loads of games announced 2018, or even late 2018. But and those games could potentially even get late 2019. There were, like, a few 2017 stuff, like Horizon DLC and Uncharted 4, not made, not made by the Naughty Dog A team. I should shout out. Um, there were a few things that's 2017, but very little. Um, I feel as though, like... Nintendo's gonna be a bit in between so Sony and Microsoft. Like I think they're gonna like have like they're gonna have the well, they did say they're gonna focus on twenty seventeen, but I do think there are gonna be um quite a few twenty eighteen games to announce. Um my wildest hopes and dreams, Mother Free and New Metroid. New proper full on Metroid for a home console, aka Nintendo Switch, none of that 3DS ball crap. For the Nintendo Switch. That's my big prediction for them. Um, overall, um, I'd say it's a tie at the moment between Sony and Microsoft, but judging by communities, they're gonna say Sony because people love people do love Sony a lot more than uh, Microsoft. And I remember when Microsoft clearly won it in 2015, that um, that people say some people are actually still saying Sony won it, which it is all opinion. But like I feel as though some of those are a bit biased. Like mine's a bit biased, of course. Like I always be biased towards Nintendo, more than uh, more than Sony. But um, when a Nintendo conference goes bad, I will shit on it. Like I will be the most critical person of it ever. Like I did not. I still have not forgiven them for twenty fifteen. That's how bad it's been. So hopefully it will be better in twenty fifteen. Um, hopefully it'll be better than the January conference because man, that was apart from the Zelda trailer, that was bad. Um, really weird pacing. Hopefully, this one have weird pacing. And as well, Nintendo have the ability because they have their localization team, the Treehouse, Nintendo Treehouse, to um, actually uh, talk about and show gameplay of it, so they don't have to do it in conference, which is a lot better than um, Sony or Microsoft doing. Like Sony didn't show hardly show, showed any gameplay, whereas Microsoft showed a bit too much. But Nintendo can yet again find that balance. I think. Um, Yo, one minute. Let me get my switch. Here's me for hoping for a good Splatoon 2. Any of you guys who watched the January conference would know why I did that. But, yeah, it's one minute away. 59. 59, 59, there we go, come on, come on lads, yes, alright, let's go lads, Ooh. 
Let's go. What's this? They're already going to the games. Lost oh, arms and uh, getting out of the way. Yeah, it's good to go out of the way. Yeah, just put a little advert for uh, um, Rocket League! Yes! Boy! Boy! Rocket League! Boy! That's gonna be mad. That's gonna be mad. That's gonna be mad! Hogan. We've really got one new game already! I'm good, I'm happy about that. FIFA, come on, come on. Really they sadly it's not Frostbite engine, but hopefully it can still look a lot better than the PS, PS3, Xbox 361. Because the uh, Switch is twice as powerful as the PS, PS3 anyway. At least twice as powerful. What's this? Splatoon! Oh, I can't wait to play Splatoon. We play that game so much. I feel it's just a little arms, but it's been good. Resume to look tonight. FIFA 18. Rocket League! I'm happy about that. I'm so happy about that. Arms. Nintendo's, Nintendo's been killing it this year, honestly. Breath of the Wild, Mario Kart. They've been killing it. Let's go with the spotlight, boy. The game Reggie is fun. The game is a battle. If it's not fun, why bother? If it's not a battle, where's the fun? It's a test that you pass or a quest that you fail. A race against time, fun and battle, always locked together. But the game is also something else. It's a journey, a passport to new worlds, maybe even an odyssey. A look, a feel. Oi, Mario Odyssey, let's go. Close your focus and open your mind. Yes, the journey requires the right ticket, and that ticket is Nintendo Switch. But in the end, it's not just where you can take your game. It's where your game can take you. So let's go. Let's go, Reggie. Come on, let's go, man. Let's do it to Mario. More lifts off, let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Everyone in all rest lived on the world tree. Oh. Together with our divine. The British voice acting is back. Yes. They called that paradise. Believe <laughs> Let's go, boy. This game actually looked pretty good for uh, a game. I mind you, the stream is running at 720, so it looks a bit crappy than my wood in game. You're a blade. As the driver of the Aegis, can you take me to Elysium? Voice well, acting took a bit as poorly as usual. For, Let's go to Elysium. Uh, I'll take you there games. myself. I think voice acting never been too great to be honest. We've been getting like Dark Souls when you do it. Let's go! Here! Come on in! Ooh! High quality particle effects. This looks really anime. We'll show you. We'll show you what me and Pyro are made of. 
That blade looks badass, man. Now that you have come this far, there can be no turning back. You. I feel like the audio is about to sing. I'm guessing your goal is amazing. This looks amazing, man. Whoa, just graphics. It's a bit simple at the moment. Well, it looks decent at the moment, but could do a bit of improvement, to be honest. Her flames hide something deeper. What's the matter? Are you the Aegis or aren't you? I won't use that power, and I don't let you use it either. If One thing I love about Modern Assault games, the environments look absolutely outstanding. It's so unique, like curved cliff faces and everything. Not with words, but with your it's own so strength. Everyone, I'm... let's go! This looks more story driven than X, so hopefully, Holiday 2017 looks sick. First look, let's go! Sometimes you need a hero. Hero. A sword sweeper. Uh, Fire wielding. It's not that true. Stone cold hero. An insatiable appetite? Okay. Oh, Kirby! Oh, shit! Graphics look a lot better than what they were we Wii Hey! That's one of those multiplayer platforms, I guess. I think. It's like, the way it's laid out. <laughs> I've always loved this Kirby soundtrack. Kirby always has had this certain charm to it, which I really like. How long has it gone on conference? Seven minutes. Ah! Oh, I've got a bonk. Calm. When is it coming out? 2018. Cool. They, they are showing a few 2018 years, let's go. Shinya, Ta Shinya Takahashi! Hi yes. everyone, I'm Shinya Takahashi from Nintendo. I hope you've been enjoying the journey with Nintendo Switch so far. When I found out that Nintendo Switch is being accepted by video game fans from all over the world as a home console that could be taken Oi, with you anywhere, I felt so relieved. Take Switch outside, come together, and share the experience. This idea was how we hoped people would play with Nintendo Switch. But people are coming up with many creative ways to play, in all kinds of places, in many more ways than we expected. This summer, Nintendo and its third-party partners will release many multiplayer games that can be played anytime, anywhere, and with so anyone. This is a real. We hope there will be many heated competitions that will be ignited by Nintendo Switch. That's what now, I we'll continue well. our look at even People more new game compete. worlds for Nintendo Switch. Switch. That's what I really but like. before we do, there is one announcement we'd like to share from our very special friend. Please take a look. Okay. Pokemon. Konnichiwa. Hi, everyone. I'm Tsunekazu Ishihara from the Pokemon Company. Just the other day, we announced that Pokemon Tournament Deluxe is coming to Nintendo Switch. All right. This is the latest version of the premier Pokemon fighting game. Yeah, we kind of know Two this. people can dive right into Just battle using on two Joy-Con controllers. So you can experience heated Pokemon battles with just one Nintendo Switch console. There are some fresh additions, including new Pokemon, and this deluxe version of the game will be on display at E3 for attendees to play. Cool. I have one more announcement. Game Freak has begun developing a core RPG Pokemon title on Nintendo Switch. Yes! That's it good, I like that. for more than a year, but we hope you'll look forward to it all the same. That's In the hope. meantime, let's enjoy this year's E3. Good man. Ishihara-san, thank you very much. We heard that the Pokemon series is being developed for Nintendo Switch. What kind of Pokemon game will we be able to play on Nintendo Switch? 
I'm looking forward to it myself. At this year's E3, we're mostly showing games that will be released in 2017. But please know that here at Nintendo, we're working on many forms of entertainment that can only be made possible on Nintendo Switch. We hope you look forward to them as well. Now, let's continue on with the journey with yeah, Nintendo Switch. Yeah, you're talking Switch. a bit much, uh, Mr. Takashi. <laughs> Okay, what's this? What is this? No way! No way! No! 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 Holy shit! I'm shaking! I'm shaking. Who's developing it? Oh, oh my chest. Oh, my chest. My chest. There's hope. Are they putting? No, they ain't putting Woody Mark in there. Ah, new theme for Yoshi. This looks so cool. I think Nintendo have kept their promise. Of, like, I think <sighs> they've done good so far. This game looks really cool. I love the depth of field there. Quite which makes it look really cool. I never thought they'd actually say anything about Metroid. I'm glad they at least said something. But oh, who's developing it though? That's what I need to know. Brand new Yoshi. 2018. Cool. Another one. Koei Tecmo. Could it be Neo? Could it be Neo? Oh, <laughs> I should have known. I should have known. Five no more, isn't it? We're under attack! What's this? Mother's in danger! If she's up there! Don't spend too long time listening to this. Probably like. You two must keep going. Ah, okay, then we've got time. Let's no, go. I'm coming with you! Just a bit gaping, eh? I am Marth, the Prince of Altea. We okay, for his voice is too bad. Remember that you can rely on your friends. We're with you. Get it together, you two. If you can't do this, who can? You fought your way this far. There's nothing you two can't do. No matter the danger, we can overcome it if we're working together. I like to right. sort of ask that if you want to outline around it. Working together, cool. like, we can fix this. Okay. Run Warriors, cool. Don't, shoot, don't go too much into it. Cool. Hey, Aonuma son! Hi there, I'm the Legend of Zelda series producer, Eiji Aonuma. You may have already heard about it during Bethesda's showcase that was held a few days ago. It was announced that select Zelda items will appear in the Nintendo Switch cool. version of Skyrim. I'm really looking forward to exploring Skyrim with the Master Sword in hand. Oh, when did this Master Sword get in my hand? Next up, we'll take a look at the DLC packs for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. That's good. Let us take you on a new Hyrule adventure. Right. 
trowel of salt. <gasps> Hi, we're on Evertai Island yet. I like the scenery how it blends nature with the whole the shrine so it's That looks pretty sick. <laughs> that looks pretty sick. That's what, what the hell? Soundtrack's incredible in this. I know people disagree with me on that, but I really like the soundtrack, like how minimal it is, because like, when it comes to a boss fight, it makes those moves even better. But, uh, cool. Like Matsu story. I'm buying it. Switch Wii U. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. What did you think? Yeah, I actually good. have one more announcement that I'd like to share. The four champions that appeared in The Legend of okay, Zelda Breath of the Wild will be available left. as amiibo. The Zora champion, Mipha. The Goron champion, Daruk. The Rito champion, Rivali. And the Gerudo champion, Urbosa. Urbosa You'll be able to so. use these four amiibo in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Would it replenish your... Um, of course you'll be able to use these in the DLC packs that you just saw, so thing. please look forward to them. This changes... <laughs> hey, Reggie. Travel the world. When that really Bring people screen together. Screen. Play so. anywhere with anyone. If video gaming is a journey, then anywhere has to include a stop right here in L.A. during E3. This is Magic Week where booths buzz and channels glow, <laughs> where the too. game worlds oh, you've heard about here. suddenly spring into life. And this summer, a new kind of heated competition ignites right on Nintendo Switch. It kicks off later today with the Splatoon 2 World Inkling yeah, that's pretty cool. which brings teams from the Americas, Europe, Australia, New Zealand, and Japan to see whose colorful skills are the best. Tomorrow the Pokken Invitational will be held. You might recognize some of our eight competitors who will be duking it out in heated battles. Later on Wednesday, we'll see eight players throw punches in the fun and competitive game ARMS, which launches later this week. Cool. Four of our players will be pros, and the other four will be E3 attendees who rise to the top by battling on the show floor. If you're going to E3, we hope arms. you'll accept the challenge. And no matter where you are, be sure to catch up with Nintendo Treehouse Live at E3 for all the details and news about Nintendo Switch and Nintendo 3DS. But now, there are a few more worlds left to visit on our journey before we land in the booth. Let's go! Mm. 
We already talked about this. Come on. Ubisoft is proud to announce its new Rabbids game, Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle, and it will be developed exclusively for the Nintendo Switch. The Rabbids crazy personalities and unpredictable behavior will shine as they arrive in a reimagined and twisted Mushroom Kingdom. They will surprise you in this tactical adventure. To be fair, I'm expecting Metroid to come out to a but they already talked about this. Mario and his friends will join them in an epic quest to put the kingdom back in order. Cool. We can't wait for you to play the game on August 29th. Bloody hell. Alright, cool. What's this? A Rocket League. Cool. Rocket League could easily run on Switch. I don't know why people were even about to play. Unreal Engine 3. Oi! It's Unreal Engine 3 tech. Like that. On behalf of everyone here at Cyanix, we're extremely excited to announce that Rocket League is indeed coming to Nintendo Switch. We know that both the Rocket League and Switch communities have wanted it, and now we're going to release it, complete with cross-network support that lets you play against opponents on other platforms. The Switch version will have all the features and modes we've released thus far, plus exclusives like local wireless multiplayer, Mario and Luigi hats for customizing your car, and new exclusive cards we'll talk about later this year. Look for Rocket League on Nintendo Switch this holiday. Cool. What's this? Don't be so stupid. What's the hunt like? <laughs> Wait, Odyssey! <laughs> <laughs> Odyssey! What the hell? That's what I'm gonna explain it, but nonetheless. I think this game looks cool, man. How long's left? Yeah, I think we'll close it off with my lips. This is so cool. I love the soundtrack. It's so good. <laughs> Yo, that's sick. Man, the texture quality on that, on that, um, chain shot, man. <laughs> this looks sick! This looks sick! When's it coming out? Come on, release date. Release... Oh, that's pretty early for Odyssey. Is that it, guys? <laughs> 